My name is Tad Hunt. I'm co-founder and CTO of Exablox. We started Exablox in uh, 2011 to change the way uh, data is stored and managed. Uh, what we noticed is that over time, uh, storage technologies haven't really kept pace with the growth of data. At an 80% year-over-year rate, uh, management of the data that and is just really hard to do. So we decided to build a product from the ground up, a uh, blank sheet of paper approach. We started from nothing and we said if, the, if we could redesign storage, this is the way we, do, we would do it. And we spent the intervening time doing so and uh, that's what I'm gonna describe to you today. Um, so to give you a little bit of background, uh, I'm gonna draw the cloud. And out in the cloud we have uh, what we call one system. One system is our management system where you manage clusters uh, or of uh, one box devices, uh, which is we, what we call the device that you put on your prem uh, one blocks. And these, in our V1 product, you can have up to six of these devices in your uh, setup. And each device is 32 terabytes of capacity uh, today. That's uh, using four terabyte hard drives. It's eight 3.5 inch hard drives, uh, hard drive bays. Uh, toolless drive insertion, toolless drive removal. You just open a door, slot a drive in or pull it out, close the door and you're done. No tools, no screws. Uh, and we cluster uh, in a uh, technology we call a, a ring, uh, up to six uh, devices. And on your, across your six one blocks devices, each one can be 32 terabytes, uh, totaling 192 terabytes of raw capacity in uh, our V1 product. Uh, to give you an idea of how that, that gets deployed uh, and what features that we support on top of that, we do deduplication. This is a primary storage deduplication in your, in your main workload. We do uh, continuous data protection, snapshots. We do uh, replication. And in terms of replication, we don't believe in RAID. We think RAID is dead. It's a technology from 1984. You know, the Apple Mac came out in 1984 as well. Uh, there's much better technologies on the horizon. Uh, we do compression. And uh, encryption. So all data at rest is always encrypted. This uh, enables you as a small business owner to, uh, or anyone really, to throw away uh, hard drives that go bad. And we know they're mechanical beasts. They go bad from time to time about 8% per year, 8 to 10% per year. Uh, and so by having all your data at rest encrypted, you can be uh, very sure that when you throw that failed drive away that somebody's not gonna be able that, to get the data off of it. Uh, and then this is all managed through one system. Unlike uh, a lot of existing storage products which are managed, you go you know, to a web interface that the device itself exports, uh, or you might have to use a serial port uh, or all this old school stuff. We manage it all from running out in the cloud. You point your browser at onesystem.exablocks.com, up pops up your network of devices over here, and you can do it. If you need to add users, you need to add shares, you want to set up Active Directory and so on and so forth. Uh, all that stuff is done just through a nice, simple, and easy-to-use GUI out here. Um, so when you have this much data, you're talking about lots of data, a lot of times you're interested in being cloud-managed, but that would be crazy expensive to put it all that in the cloud uh, as a small and medium business. And so this, this works well because it allows you to manage it from the cloud but keep all your data on-prem. We also allow you to replicate, and so we talked about replication. This is for uh, safe, keeping your data safe. And we do, uh, essentially we can protect from two drive failures. Uh, the way RAID 6 protects from two drive failures, uh, you know, 
except ours allows you to protect from either two drive failures. And so in one of these nodes, you may have eight drives. Let's see, four terabytes, four terabytes. You may have you know, this drive go bad and say this drive over here go bad, and we, we keep your data safe. Uh, unlike RAID, we can also protect you from device failures. So if you have this uh, ring of six OneBlox devices, and this node becomes disconnected from the network, uh, or its power get, cable gets pulled out, and this node gets pulled out, you still don't lose availability of, of, from, of your data. You still have uh, one copy on one of these, these devices. So we prefer to replicate, when we do our data protection, across your cluster, uh, across your ring, because that enables better performance, uh, better reliability, better availability, better reliability, and uh, those, that's kind of the name of the game. Uh, and then when it comes time for managing all this, you go out into one system out in the cloud, and that's uh, where you say, okay, I want a new share to come out of this global namespace. Uh, so no matter how many nodes you add, when you add the first node, it takes about five minutes to uh, unbox it and, if, and plug it in. And if you're capable of inserting a power cord into a receptacle and plugging in an Ethernet cable and uh, taking a hard drive out of the box it came in and shoving it into a slot, you can set up a, a one-box device. Now, unlike uh, many of our competitors' devices where you might need a PhD in storage to uh, configure it, it might take three days. To, uh, to set up and get everything up and running. Ours out of the box, up and running, with a global namespace with a share available to your users on your network, five minutes. For a feature set, we have uh, DDoop. We have continuous data protection style snapshots. And let me explain to you how those work. Uh, so you start, and we keep all changes in time. And this is as we go back. Uh, going back in time, and this is now. And so we keep every change you make uh, that your application makes, and this is because a lot of, a lot of times the reason that you want a snapshot in, in the short term is because you know, a user makes a mistake uh, or your application crashed while you're editing a file uh, or so on and so forth. And SmashFS, uh, our file system, takes, uh, you know, we took a, uh, a different tack than every other file system, which makes it really hard to save multiple copies and makes it really easy to throw them away by accident. Uh, and so we said, okay, for the last five minutes, we're gonna keep all copies, and then we're gonna start thinning them out uh, according to a policy. And now in our V1 product, this policy is fixed, and what it says is after five minutes, we start and we'll keep one per hour. And then all these ones here will get discarded, uh, and we'll keep those going back in time for one snapshot per hour back until the oldest that you have out there. And so you end up with this thinning policy, and our, snap, and our file system does that uh, automatically for you. Um, and so this gets you a good trade-off between uh, high availability of data, so you don't have to have your employees repeat work that they may have just finished, uh, especially if they make uh, a mistake uh, or the application crashes. Um, in a trade-off with how much disk space you're going to use for all these snapshots. Now, there's a couple things that make that really interesting is because we do deduplication, the, each one of these snapshots takes up very little space. In fact, the size of the snapshot is only the size of the change uh, between uh, the change in that file that caused the snapshot to be taken, uh, which tends to be a very small, uh, you know, in the kilobyte range. Um, so you can keep many snapshots there essentially free. Um, and then, of course, the users are allowed to get back to the data uh, of all the snapshots just automatically through the global namespace. They just point their file browser down through the snapshot tree until they get to the version of the file that they're interested in. Um, this works really well with our deduplication um, to also compress all the data between shared snapshots down into one. All right, so Smash of S's are... SmashFS is our distributed uh, file system with a, with a global namespace uh, built on top of a distributed object store, uh, content addressable object store. And um, we built this from the ground up. So what happens is 
that we take uh, new data that comes into the file system uh, and we chunk it up into small objects and then we distribute the objects around the cluster, uh, which we call a ring. Uh, we use a property similar to the way BitTorrent works. Uh, you use a consistent hashing ring uh, for data distribution. And once it's distributed around the ring, then we make a replica here, let's say here and here, and then your, the clients get load balanced across all of the nodes in your ring, causing, as you grow your ring, you increase performance, you increase reliability, and you increase uh, available capacity. Uh, kind of the trifecta of the storage problems uh, that, that, that I like to think about. Uh, all for doing the same operation that takes five minutes every time, which is take a device out of the box, plug it in, give it some network, shove some drives into some slots, again, without tools. And if, you know, five minutes, your cluster grows. They, the new nodes auto-discover using one system, the other nodes uh, that are already deployed. They seamlessly join uh, without any uh, interaction on your part. And they give you this feature. And essentially what you see as an end user is the capacity just got bigger, the availability just got better, um, you know, things like that. Uh, one piece I didn't cover here as well that using a remote replication, you can replicate to another ring across a WAN. And we'll, we'll keep both ends in sync. It's an active-active replication. So you end up with a single global namespace shared across multiple sites. And each site has a full replica of all the data. So it keeps your data very safe. It's a way for you to build uh, reliability and disaster recovery into your business for a very low, low price. So what I've just described to you is OneBlocks, which is our uh, device that we implement a scale out distributed file system on top of, and one system, which is our cloud management system used for managing uh, clusters of these devices. The final thing that I, I, I'd like to add today is one system is a multi-tenant management system. So if you're a, an organization such as an MSP or a VAR and you have many uh, storage deployments to manage, you manage it all from the single pane of glass uh, in one system. I'm Tad Hunt, co-founder and CTO of Exablox. Thanks for watching.